after working for about 20, more than 20 years in different companies as an electrical engineer, I realized that this scramble up the corporate ladder was not meant for me. I quit my job. And in my spare time, I started volunteering with organizations that worked in the slums and villages around Calcutta. While visiting these slums and villages, I found that engineering and social, social work could be very well brought together to come up with some low cost useful devices that could make life easier for people living in poverty. While I was doing this, I also needed food on my table. So I started some small enterprises, but very fortunately for me, within a very short time, all these enterprises died. Fortunate because now I have all the time, full time, to work on all the nonsense that I'm doing now. My work was first acknowledged by D-Lab at MIT for the technical part of it. And then onwards, no looking back, I enjoy and love my work as an independent inventor. Today I'm going to talk about the latest invention, the Zimba chlorine dozer. It is an attempt to make safe water available to all. How many of you trust the municipal water over here for drinking? I guess no one. I hear, I find somebody raising a hand. One, two, three maybe. So most people don't drink the municipal water straight because we don't trust it. So we all have our own domestic water purification system installed in our house. But what about people who cannot afford this? Who do not have electricity in the house? Who have to go out of their house to go, a, to, go to a common water point at a, at a com community water point to collect their water? How do they purify their water? So I started working on this device about three years back. And I, as I kept on working on this, I found that 780 million people in this world do not have access to safe drinking water. And unlike most of us, they have a very limited choice of drinks. These and a few similar to these. And since these people are ingesting these pathogens, 4,000 children die every day, out of which 1,600 are in India alone every day, which means one child dies in India every minute for a reason which is preventable, like diarrhea. I believe that this number of 4,000 can be brought down substantially because there are proven and effective ways of making the water that these people consume safe to drink. Chlorine is effect effective, available, cheap, used in the developed world, recommended by World Health Organization, added in the right proportion to the water that these people drink can get rid of most of the pathogens. The question remains, how do we get this blessed chlorine into the water that these people drink? For most developing countries, the cost of providing chlorinated piped water to each and every household is prohibitively expensive. The alternate is point of use or point of collection disinfection, similar to the disinfecting systems that we have in our houses for the water. So where, pe where the water is disinfected or chlorinated at the point where people come and collect their water. While when I started working on this, the first challenge was if I were to add a fixed tiny volume of this liquid chlorine solution to a volume of water to keep the proportion right, how do I deal with a situation where people come to collect their water in different container sizes? Same water source, different women, different container sizes ranging from four, four liters to 14 liters. The second challenge was, if I were to add chlorine to flowing water, how do I deal with a situation where the flow rate is variable, random, intermittent? I also thought that the device should work without electricity since it, un since it is unreliable in most cases. It should have no moving parts to fail, like valves to leak or levers to get jammed. 
And since I was dealing with drinking water, the dosing had to be accurate every time and precise. And also, it should require minimum behavior change. People should be able to collect their water in the same way that they have been used to. Here is a short video. So it is safe by default. No human inter intervention required, no human judgment is required of how much chlorine to go into how much water. It is automatically done inside. And what I mean by it is safe by default is that people do not have an option of getting unsafe water once this is installed, since it is an inline disinfecting system. Some examples where these have been up and running in a rural setting in West Bengal. Spring Health Orissa is using one of them for the last six months. It's been working fine. I was lucky that Stanford University took interest in this. They invited me to Stanford to give a demonstration of this. And subsequently, with International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research, they did a joint study of the technical viability of this in the, in the slums of Dhaka. For the last 10 months, it has been literally, each of them have been literally cleaning up thousands of liters every day for the slum dwellers. For those of you, for those of you interested in what goes inside, an automatic siphon, no moving parts, no circuit board, and a dispenser that sits over there. It's just a combination of pipes and tubes interconnected, transparent technology, figuratively and literally, which dispenses a tiny amount of chlorine to all the water that goes inside and passes out. So my dream next is to take this prototype and make it into a product and disseminate it throughout the world through all the big and small organizations who have already shown a lot of interest in this and make this world a better place with less number of diarrheal deaths. Hey, please don't clap because people think I have done a lot of work on this. It's actually not me. I'll share a secret with you. It's gravity that's doing the work, not me. So as long as water is heavier than air, they should keep on working, and I guess in most cases it is so. Thank you.